Breaking news this morning, police interrupt a violent home invasion in southwest Philadelphia, ending with three suspects behind bars. Evidence News reporter Trang Doe is live near the scene at 66 in Greenway Avenue with the latest details. Good morning, Trang. What do we know now? Well, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Investigators are still inside this house collecting evidence from what was a very scary home invasion. Take a look. It's this house right on the corner. I'm told two older Vietnamese women live here, and at this point, police do not know why they were targeted. One had just returned from a trip overseas, and investigators are looking into whether any of these three men who were arrested knew these women in any way. Now, the women are shaken, but they declined medical treatment and are being interviewed by detectives right now. Now, this all started around two this morning and neighbors called police after hearing screaming and yelling coming from this home. Now officers arrived to find the back door kicked in and the two women inside with their hands bound behind their backs with speaker wire. Now one of the women had been punched in the face as well as choked. She told police the suspects held a knife to her throat and demanded money. Officers then searched the home and found three men hiding, two of them under beds on the second floor. Now they are described as two black males and one Asian male. Now two of them were armed with handguns and Lieutenant John Walker praised the response of neighbors and police walking into a very dangerous situation. I think everybody's relieved. I mean, we're relieved and again to make an entry into a house with two armed men. The officers did a phenomenal job in bringing the situation under control rather quickly. It could have been much worse going up into a second floor with three people, two armed in two separate bedrooms and rescuing these two women out of this house safely and then taking these three individuals into custody safely is, is a great thing for everybody at this point. And investigators are looking into whether any of these suspects are involved in a string of armed robberies of Asian owned businesses in Southwest and West Philadelphia. But Lieutenant Walker tells me that these two women were retired and did not own any type of businesses. But for now, we're live in Southwest Philadelphia. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back to you. Thank you, Trang, for that update.